With Hercules Gomez, I'm Christina Alexander. Let's talk about this big rumor, I, I would say, uh, Christian Pulisic to Real Madrid. Yeah, a few reports out there. Do you out believe there. it? Um, sure. Mm -hmm. I believe it. Um, why do I believe it? There are a few teams out there that could potentially take one, a big transfer fee, and the salary. Uh, and Real Madrid would be one of those teams uh, to offload that salary for. And also, uh, from a marketing and playing standpoint, I could see it making sense. Why marketing? Because Christian Pulisic is going to come with it. A lot of uh, jersey sales for North America, lots of marketing opportunities, et cetera, et cetera. That's fine. But also on the field, you look at a player with his ability, when healthy, to run by people. That's the key, right? To when be healthy. good in transition. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a huge key. Uh, He's as close to Vinny Jr. as they will have in characteristics. Like, obviously, he's not going to be Vinny Jr. He's not going to have the year that G Vinny Jr. had. Yeah. But when you talk about people who have the ability to go 1v1 and go beyond somebody or to run behind somebody to really beat you with pace, Christian Pulisic can offer that. So, yeah, I do see it uh, as something that could make sense. And Carlo Ancelotti needs that deep roster as well, right? So it would make sense to have that backup in, in Vinny Jr., especially when we're talking about yeah. up front. Rodrigo's uh, one of the instant names that comes to mind when you're talking about depth. Yeah. Uh, Asensio, which doesn't really have the trust of Ancelotti. Ro Ro eh, Alvaro Rodriguez, who just debuted. Yeah. But beyond that, you're really struggling, grasping to pick at names who can change the game for you coming off the bench. So if we're talking about where he could be best suited, if there's a possibility of him playing in that roster, yes, as a depth piece, absolutely. Yeah, let's talk about his actual situation r right now, though. Does he need to leave? Absolutely, 100%. And he was going to leave. I I'm firmly believe he was going to leave if not for the injury. The injury pushed off a lot of teams. Yeah. Um, that knee in injury, unfortunate, uh, right in the middle of the transfer window. You had Newcastle sniffing. You had teams elsewhere. Borussia Dortmund as well. Uh, every once in a while, you'd get a random team here and there. Milan. Big teams. The injury happens. Nobody wants to touch him. Understandable. He needs to be fit. He needs to get back. Because when he was playing, it'd be one good game, back to the bench. One semi okay cameo, back to the bench. Yeah. You don't see him, back to the bench. You know, it's, it's, it's always the same thing. So he needs to go somewhere he can develop, somewhere he can play. Yeah, I don't want to make this comparison, but it, it just comes to mind inevitably. Uh, I think of the last time that they signed someone that was a little bit tough with their injuries from Chelsea. Don't say has it. Don't say has it. <laughs> Why not? You know, and, that, and that's a struggle. It's a risk. It, it is it's a risk. And it's not the first time that Real Madrid has had a player that didn't work out. Kaká, another big player that yeah. didn't work out. True. But when it comes to Christian Pulisic, Christian Pulisic can ill afford to be another player that did not work out. Yeah. Listen, there have been many players who didn't work out at Chelsea. Uh, De Bruyne, uh, Mo Salah, Lukaku multiple times. You know, there have been massive players who have not worked out there. But for Christian Pulisic right now, it can't be another scenario where it doesn't work out. This one worked out okay. It worked out okay. He was a big part of the run to the Champions League final. With that, mm -hmm. they ended up winning. He actually has done very well against Real Madrid in yep. the past uh, with Borussia Dortmund. Scored against Real Madrid with Chelsea. Scored against Real Madrid. He seems to perform very well. It's a league that's very well suited for him. He could be an impact player there. Coming off the bench, potentially starting. And, and more than anything, it's he needs that that new lease on life, the, the, yeah. the, the fresh air that comes with the move desperately. Yeah, and that, that was my question, right? Because the style when we're talking about Premier League against La Liga, it's completely different. Yes, uh, which could be beneficial for him. Yeah, tactically, would that be beneficial enough to see him in his peak form for 2026? He needs to be playing to get onto peak form. But I he won't necessarily get the minutes at, at Madrid. And maybe he doesn't need the minutes to be in peak form because we saw Christian Pulisic who wasn't in peak form heading into the World Cup and I thought he had a very good World Cup mm -hmm. Agreed. At, at what he was asked to do. Yes. I thought he was very productive, very good in 1v1, very good at organizing, very good at setting his players up. He was as advertised, probably one of the marquee players uh, for the U.S. Men's National League, marquee players in the attacking third in the World Cup. It's not my opinion. Those are just numbers. Go out and look, look for him. So he can be that player even if he doesn't play, but he needs to be the man. He needs to feel like the man. Yeah. Whether that's with the U.S. Men's National Team or that's Real Madrid or elsewhere, he needs to be that person. I mean, fresh air and good food and good food and good football, of course, that he would have at good Madrid. Good too. For sure. Uh, be sure to catch Football Americas every Monday and Thursday on ESPN+.